Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now Huawei just launched a brand new series of smart office devices and what I have today here is actually two tablets and one single laptop. Now have you ever wondered like whether you should get yourself a tablet or a laptop, you know, which one is more ideal for you? Well, Huawei is saying that their new tablets here really offer that PC-like experience and it doesn't matter if you are new to the workforce or perhaps you are a student who has completed a lot of assignments. Today we're going to go up close and personal with these tablets here and see how they can actually replace a computer. Maybe this PC like experiences will change your mind in terms of whether you should get a tablet but if you still want to get a laptop we will also check one out so without further ado let's just head over to the desk right now get up close and personal with these devices and let's see how these tablets can actually offer you that PC like experience let's begin right away all right guys so now that we're at the desk you can see that we do have the Huawei Mate Pad Air as well as the Huawei Mate Pad 11.5 we're gonna check out the Air first and foremost the reason why it has the Air at the back is naturally because it is very lightweight just the tablet itself is only slightly more than 500 grams that makes it very comfortable to hold with one hand and it doesn't create a lot of stress especially if you're holding it this way now other than that you'll notice that it is also very slim and even if you add on all the accessories like the keyboard together with the pencil the total weight of the entire thing will still be less than 900 grams which again makes it very flexible and comfortable to hold all right so in terms of the display guys you see that we do have a very beautiful display at the front here this is actually an 11.5 inch display and the resolution is very high is 2.8k that means that watching movies just browsing your content and even doing work, everything is going to look very visually pleasing on this display. Other than that, one thing that I really like about this display is the refresh rate because it refreshes at 144 hertz. That means it's super buttery smooth. It's smoother than those 120 hertz displays. And this is really a kind of flagship display that you can find on any tablet today. All right, so now that we've talked about the form factor, the design as well as the display, I think we should put it up, set it up on the desk to find out how it really works as a PC. How can it give you the PC-like experience? Let's uh, try and put this on. Oh, by the way, Way, uh, just to let you know this casing here once you put it on you can also tilt the stand at the back here and this kind of reminds me of the uh, Microsoft Surface kind of computers but with this you can actually adjust you know the kind of stand at the back here to get the perfect angle also one more really cool thing is that you can use the keyboard with or without you know it being attached together and I think that's really cool because sometimes you just want it to be at a certain distance like that and you can actually still use the keyboard together with the tablet as you can see I'm typing on the keyboard now um, just before we go into the PC like experience I should also talk a little bit about this keyboard we do have a very decent uh, key travel on here it's a very silent keyboard that is perfect for those of you who works with other people you don't want to make it very noisy and obtrusive so I think this is a great keyboard here very very comfortable and everything is just soft touch very nice to use all right guys so let me just connect my mouse into the port here. All right, so I do have my mouse connected. You can see that we have a cursor over here and I've got a couple of apps already installed. So let me just show you how easy it is to use this tablet. All right, so we are going to talk about the PC Lite experience. So I'm going to show you a couple of things that you can do with your work apps. So I've got a couple of apps already installed here. Uh, we do have my Google applications, of course, my Gmail, my Chrome, and of course the uh, WPS, just to show you guys. Now very quickly, we can go into uh, Chrome for example and of course you see that the mouse works really well here. Obviously, you can also still scroll you know, with your finger if you want to do that. But for the full PC-like experience, I really suggest you use the mouse because it's just really awesome. Alright, you can also drag up here to just you know, put it at the side and a window here. And let me just launch WPS real quick so I can have a side-by-side -side view like this. And it's actually really convenient because say for example, I want to write a document. And I can just refer to the notes on the side here. Say for instance, I'm doing something on Formula 1. So uh, the race is tonight. So again, like I said, you can have a side-by-side -side view here that is very, very PC-like and I think that's really awesome. All right, so I'm going to move back out here and just go into WPS alone. Uh, what kind of things, what kind of documents can you really use with it? Actually quite a fair bit, guys. Yeah, we can work on documents, we can create presentations, spreadsheets, and even PDFs. So if you just go into documents, you already have a couple of uh, templates right here. I'm not going to show you how to use this app, but essentially you can just download one of these templates and you can start working on your documents. Other than that, presentation also works the same. I think if you are a student, let's say you want to do a, a, a PowerPoint on Spacewalk. So once you've downloaded the template, you can use it right away. Again, it's very, very close to a PC experience I would say it's the same here and you can also just do stuff like you know just play this thing here and we can just browse through the presentation so this is what you can do uh, with the presentation and all that all right so that's just a very quick demo of how these productivity apps will work with the Huawei Mate Pad Air obviously if you have the M pencil you'll be able to scribble notes on the display itself very very useful and 
This device does come with a very large battery. It is an 8,300 mAh unit in a very slim form factor. So you can actually have, you know, definitely more than one day of use on a single charge on this Huawei Mi Pad Air that I think is really awesome. And yeah, that's pretty much what you can expect in terms of that PC-like experience on the Mi Pad Air. For now, we're going to move on to the next device that is the Mi Pad 11.5. Alright guys, so moving on to the next tablet, this is the Huawei MatePad 11.5 and this is actually a more affordable tablet that is suitable for the masses. If you don't have a huge budget, you might want to consider this tablet here for the PC-like experience. Now I won't go everything in detail because it's actually quite a similar experience to the MatePad Air in terms of the software. Obviously, I have also already connected it to the mouse and you can see it scrolls really smoothly. Oh, I should also mention the display here is actually the same size as the MatePad Air. It's also 11.5 inches. It has a 120 hertz refresh that is also very smooth and more importantly the display itself is TUV Ryan Lens certified that means that the amount of blue light you know affecting your eyes is going to be way lesser so you have a more comfortable viewing experience just like the mid pad air guys I also have WPS installed here so you can have that PC like experience I'm going to show it to you real quick again but not go through super detailed again you can have your kind of Excel files here you can have your word documents and you can also have PowerPoints all running really easily obviously it also works with your Google Apps and you can edit all these uh, columns guys it's not just a picture here you can really edit these kind of columns here and actually just change the numbers and everything in there obviously if you want to use your finger to just point around it gives you the flexibility to use both the mouse as well as the display on the tablet itself now other than that it also has a fairly large battery 7700 mAh if I'm not mistaken so it's going to give you a very good battery life and I really love the fact that it also comes with this keyboard if I'm not mistaken uh, currently for sale now it comes together with the keyboard so you do not have to spend extra money to get this really sweet keyboard so yeah this is what you can expect in terms of the mid pad 11.5 again a very similar experience in terms of productivity to the mid pad air but at a very affordable starting price point all right guys so other than the two tablets that we just talked about like i mentioned in the start of the video we also have huawei's latest laptop uh, it's a good for value kind of laptop here and it's called the matebook d14 now what's so cool about this guy here is that of course again this is a very lightweight device it is only 1.39 kilograms that means you know it's easy to hold with one hand you can see that it's very slim all around and just in terms of the ports guys you do have type a ports your hdmi your headphone jack a type c everything that you might need to use on your productivity apps now moving to the the kind of power that we are facing here we do have the 12th gen intel core processor p series and this is apparently 83.3 percent more improved compared to last year's 11th gen so again if you're going to use a lot of your productivity apps you should have enough power running on this guy now another really cool feature that huawei is you know saying that is available on this laptop is all about that metal line antenna now this antenna actually promotes even stronger connection with your router now you can expect further distance range and you can also expect faster speeds and more stable connections so it's going to really help you out if you are always connected to the router. Last but not least, as with all Huawei laptops, you also have your Huawei Share, which means it's very easy to share files across your phone to the laptop itself. And of course, you have the phone manager or the super hub where it allows you to just drag and drop files from your phone to your documents. It's all a very seamless process that makes it super easy to work with your work. So that's the quick story with the Huawei MateBook D14. Alright guys, so that pretty much wraps up our video for today. As you can see, these tablets here do offer that PC-like experience. Not only can you do all your kinds of work on these tablets itself, but they are actually very flexible to the point where you can work anywhere. They are super lightweight and you can use it with or without the keyboard. Of course, if you still want to get a laptop, you can also check out the laptop that I just shared with you. More information will be down in the links below. If you have any questions that you need help with, feel free to comment down below. Don't forget to drop a like and sub to the channel if you want to see more content like this. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Take care and stay safe everybody. Bye-bye.